Hi, this is a short introduction for the free community edition of the Unigine game engine. You can download the engine from this page here, the link is added to the description below. And as you can see here we have 4 editions and the community edition is for free. At least it is for free if your revenue in the last 12 months is less than 100k. And this is quite similar to other engines like the Unreal Engine or Unity. So if you don't earn that much at the moment, you can press this button and download the free edition. After signing up for free, you can get the SDK browser. This is available for Linux and Windows. And here you can see it, it just downloads the SDK to my local hard disk, I'm using Windows 10 OS. Ok, once it is installed, you can go ahead and create a new project or add an existing one here to My Projects. And here we have some add-ons, I haven't checked this out yet, but it looks interesting. And on this tab you find sample projects and demos. So let's have a closer look at one of these, for example this c -sharp third person platformer. This is the required software and the recommendations that we downloaded and installed and now we can go ahead and install the project. This takes a while, here you can see it is downloading and after that we can press run to start the game. Not bad for a simple demo. It feels fast and fluid and I really like it. Ok, game over, but now I want to see how this project is actually created. The only thing you have to do is to press copy as project and after pressing create new project, it is copied to your local hard disk. Again, this takes a while and after that you can open the project in the Unigine editor. You can move around in the level with the WASD keys when you hold the right mouse button pressed, press shift to move faster. And to focus an object you can select it and press the F key. These are default shortcuts in most engines. The objects in this game engine are called nodes. The nodes of your level, of your world, are displayed here in this world nodes browser. For the selected node you can see its parameters on the right side in the parameters panel and also the assigned components, but I'll come back to this in a moment. By the way you can also press the F key to find nodes in the viewport when they are selected here in the world nodes. To zoom in and out in the editor you can use the mouse wheel or you just hold down the alt key, press the right mouse button and move the mouse. To translate selected nodes to move them around you press the W key to activate the translate gizmo. By pressing the E key you activate the rotation tool and to scale an object press the R key. As I mentioned before, you can assign so called components to the nodes and one type of components are scripts. For these the programming languages Unigine Script, C Sharp or C++ can be used. This robot here, the player, has two C Sharp scripts assigned, one for controlling the player and one for firing bullets. When I press this button to edit the script, it is opened in the default code editor Visual Studio Code. The class Fire Controller is derived from the component class. It has several private member variables which are visible in the editor because the show in editor attribute is defined for them. 
The component class has special methods that you can implement for adding your game logic, for instance the init method, which is called once when the component is initialized, or the update method that is invoked for every frame. But I will explain these lifecycle stages in the next Unigine tutorial when we are programming a simple example together. Here on the Knowledge tab you can find links to the online and offline documentation, the Unigine forum and also to private support. Here on this page the runtime logic and lifecycle that I mentioned is explained with the init, update and shutdown methods, but for beginners I recommend to get started with the first chapter. Ok guys, this was a short introduction to the Unigine Community Edition. In my opinion this is an engine that can compete with engines like Unity or Unreal and now you can use it for free, so please tell me if you are interested to see more tutorials for it. If you like the video and my channel then don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, support me by being my patron. If you have any questions add these to the comments below and I see you soon in the next one on JNM.